YouTube program Redacted with Clayton Morris. Today, there is posted an interview with Captain Dan Henley, former 25-year United Airlines pilot, on the 911 event. And this specifically in reference to the question, could unskilled pilots do this? Let's play a clip. Aircraft were electronically hijacked and remotely controlled to employment of a system called the Uninterruptible Autopilot that enables a remote source to take complete control of the aircraft autopilot and flight management computer and fly it to its designated target, whether that be a, another airport or into a building. And once this system is engaged, the pilots can't disconnect it. And one, one of the goals of our organization has been to recruit highly trained and experienced pilots, both active and retired military or civilian pilots from around the world who will attest to the fact that not only could the hijackers not have flown the flight profiles, but they could not have flown them themselves. So we've got video interviews on our website. You can. He goes on to say that there is a system for automatically controlling planes known as uninterruptible autopilot. In his discussion, he references a Wikipedia article that's titled Boeing Honeywell Uninterruptible Autopilot. This article states that the patent for the system was awarded to Boeing in 2006, uh, implying in a way that it did not exist prior to 2006. Very interestingly, in the same article, Malaysian Airlines 370 is mentioned as being a part of a theory of its disappearance somehow being related to this autopilot system. And one consultant, Bob Mann, stating that this being actually installed on commercial airlines has not really been proven to exist. In this interview, Dan states that one consideration for a 911 special event was that the implicated four airline craft were switched out with military craft containing the uninterruptible autopilot. He speculated about some protuberance under the surface of the aircraft that was seen flying into the South Tower, questioning the possibility the protuberance could have been a part of the uninterruptible autopilot system. In a previous video uploaded titled X Mill Kevin New Angle video proves we live in a timeline paradoxical reality. I shared how this combat veteran named Kevin Wesley supposedly left a new vantage point of the 911 attacks on private on his YouTube for over 20 years, somehow when not realizing that he had done so. Since YouTube was created in 2006 7, he must have saved the video from his camera, uploaded it at that time, and then somehow forgot to public the video and then check the views feedback of publicly in the video. Very difficult to believe, but this is the claim. His vantage point, if it is to be believed, proves that indeed there was an aircraft that somehow created to the building. Dan Henley believes that this was the case, but not with human pilots, but rather uninterruptible autopilot, a computer on board the plane that can commandeer the plane. He also states that modern planes have this feature and that in inclement weather, pilots are told to allow the plane to land because the plane can land better and poor visibility by itself compared to with human control. Back to his video uploaded a few years ago, I show a segment from a documentary that demonstrates the nose out of the plane that went into the South Tower, a feat that's considered impossible given physics as we know it today. I showed you the timestamp of original New York WNYW news footage from that fateful day, depicting the same vantage point of the plane as shown in a documentary at mark starting 252.59, but quite miraculously, when you play it, you get a black screen, you get the nose out in the black screen. And I will go on to say that even this itself appears to be a alteration, as I do not recall the nose out being shown in that detail in this original footage. I really only recall the black screen of it being hidden. I say all this to say that I have some trouble believing this transition to the screen, transition to this new footage is able to fit in a reality that makes sense. And that with pilots for 911 Truth, we are given this theory about planes on autopilot. This needs to be safely explained before we move on to theories about autopilot. Over the years on the new YouTube platform, I had come to speak in tangential ways, not allowing the prying eyes of the robots judge me and condemn me by my words. So just to make it clear to you, the viewer, this discussion about the nose out is concerning if there is a plane or not. Handley is stating that there is a plane, but it was remote controlled. Kevin Wesley may be connected to the research that can create 
reality paradoxes, where in one case there is a plane, in another case there isn't a plane. The nose out's important because it implies alpha key being used on a news camera to depict the crash, which failed because it was allowed to render too long, causing the visual nose out. The reality that we have to reconcile is the one where we're informed a many, many ton passenger airplane was able to execute this amazing hairpin turn at the side of the Pentagon, declining thousands of feet in minutes and striking at the center of an object that is only 77 feet tall off the ground. Dan Henley with the pilots for 911 Truth hold that this is impossible, and I agree. But it should be noted that anyone who doesn't contest this reality silently acquiesces to the lie of this reality. That means the entire Earth population. For those who don't know, they just don't know, but they are acquiescing to this, this story, this apparent fiction. Those who contest, they show that they are open and ready to consider dramatic paradigms, such as uninterruptible autopilot, the concept of the event being changed retroactively to involve real planes through either timeline insertion or derailment. After the 2024 presidential selection, I think it's important to bring attention to the many lies we were told in the past. Growing public awareness will create the path for true understanding of this reality in ways to reconcile the many consequences of the actions of the evil ones. Till next time.